So I just read this rather remarkable study by a neuroscientist at the University of California, San Diego, which is where I went to school, big science school. And the study that came out was about loneliness. And evidently three of four Americans feel lonely. And it's not, what was surprising was it, it's not the group that um, are diagnosed with some kind of disorder or subject to emotional risk. So that fascinates me. And I think at the bottom line, it's because energetically at the quantum level, we are connected by source energy, by the chi, by the prana, whatever you want to call it, whatever culture you're from. And coming into a human body makes us feel separated. So I wanted to give you some support around the feeling of loneliness and related emotions. Basically, what I've learned over 30 years having studied this information is that if we can fingertip tap, acupressure point tap in certain points on our head and torso while feeling these feelings, rather than avoiding them, rather than like I used to do, eat way too much sugar, um, alcohol, meh, cigarettes, meh, heroin, meh, but sugar, boy, that was that was my pacifier. However, as we face and hug and deal with our emotions and tap on them at the same time, they actually start to dissipate. So I'm just going to lead you through a general, not a full protocol for tapping, but um, to, enough to get you started so you can feel some relief. And so we start with the emotions that are up, the memories are, that are up that caused us to feel lonely or neglected or abandoned. And then um, in a few minutes, you'll start to breathe more eat deeply, feel better. And then we start to ingrain the feelings that we'd rather have, feeling connected, supported, and, and loved. So just, just take a moment to feel what comes to mind, the first thing that comes to mind about feeling lonely. Maybe it was something that happened, uh, maybe a divorce, um, <clears throat> loss of friends, I've had all of these things happen, so you can relate. Anyway, um, bring up that memory or that feeling and Let's honor it. I'm here with you now. You can play this over and over again. And just start putting your two karate chop points together, we call them, this point right here. And just tapping. It's not going to be a sophisticated uh, approach here. It's just feeling what's up and using these points. And just say, say this after me. Even though I feel lonely now, I'd like to honor this feeling. I'd like to hear what this feeling has to say so I can be released from my mind-body system. Hmm. Even though I have felt lonely in the past, maybe you're not feeling it in this moment, but as you tap, some memories might come up that are ready to be released today. really like to feel better. This feeling of loneliness. But nobody's there for me. Just repeat after me. And deep breathing. Nobody cares about me. I feel so lonely. rather feel loved and supported, obviously. These two points under the inside edge of the collarbone, they're really important for sadness and grief. And when you're crying, it makes me so sad to feel alone. 
There are other points uh, on the torso, but I won't go into them. Let's see. Let's do on the wrist here. Drop your shoulders. You're doing really well. I feel so sad. I feel so alone. I don't want to feel alone anymore. So I'll give you a round to just be with your specific emotion, yeah? Between the eyebrows. Does a particular memory come to mind about feeling alone? Just tap on it now. And slowly, deeply breathe along with your, your memory. It's feeling you're alone. Feeling alone. Just being with it. I'm here with you right now. I'm here with you. Feeling alone. I'm not the only one, apparently can be part of the human condition. Good news is we're more than just this body. We're the essence of life. And we'll talk about that in a second. With the wrists. I feel lonely, I feel alone. And it hurts. Some related emotions that might help you continue to process this. Oh, feeling rejected by someone I cared about. Feeling rejected by someone that I wanted to like me or love me, and they couldn't or didn't. It hurts. Feeling of being neglected. One for me. My mom became oof, mentally ill, and there's still some emotion here of um, just wanting her to love me. <clears throat> just keep tapping. and feeling rejected. Just keep going. Emotions will pass. The memories will eventually move on. Maybe not in this five-minute period, <clears throat> but they will. Keep doing this. Ah. <sighs> I'm doing this with me. I'll be offering webinars soon to work with you privately or live, maybe one on one, maybe just follow along. This process, this method works so well. I used to be a wreck around my mother, angry at her for the majority of my adulthood and uh, tapping. While remembering these horrible emotions helped me get beyond it. And to have just, you know, a couple of seconds of emotion is quite something. So we're all in the same boat. We're all here together feeling alone sometimes. But so if you're not completely At a, a neutral place around feeling lonely, just stay with it. Just either pause this video or replay it. I don't want to make it too long. But uh, now, what would you rather? What would you rather be feeling than lonely? What is it for you? Just take a moment to tune in. Different words for different people. I'll give you a moment to find yours. For me, it might feel uh, being connected, being heard, being understood, actually being seen by someone, feeling loved, liked, 
liking myself. That's what I had to do. My dad was away in the Navy most of my youth, and so I only had my mother there. So I pretty much had to learn how to love myself. And this is where the deepest self-love comes from, self-love. The deepest love, um, because people come and go, they die, they leave, whatever, and you're left with yourself. So let's tap in that wonderful feeling of being supported and connected with whomever you choose, but also what's within, really caring about yourself. No matter what this body, this lifetime looks like, it doesn't match what the magazines say, fuck the magazines. This is about you. So here we go. Well, let's start with the karate chop. I'm ready to let go of these feelings of loneliness, of not being connected. Just repeat after me. Or I'd like to be. I'd like to let go as soon as I can, these feelings of being lonely and unconnected. And what if, what if I did feel loved? What if I did feel heard and seen and felt connected to someone? What would that be like? Man, wow. Let's stay with those feelings because those are the ones you want to focus on. Whenever you feel yourself tanking, do this process, come back to, it takes a choice to come back to these feelings of being, what you want to feel. I like to feel connected. I like to feel really deeply loved. I like to really love myself soon, if not now. Maybe you are there and just go with it and good for you. Oh, it's so love to feel loved and just hold your arm your own body, the feeling of touch is so vital. This feeling of being loved. Oh, I'd love to be cared for, especially by myself. You can feel lonely in a room full of people. I certainly have. I was around a lot of people that were talking about superficial things, and I just wanted to talk about connection. Not everybody's going to be on my wavelength. Um, just let that be okay if we can. I know I just want to feel connected. And I do now by having done this. <sighs> Choose to feel loved. If you believe in angels or God, tune into feeling loved by them or him or her. Feel love. Let's do a round on actually feeling loved. And from here, confidence blossoms as you start to develop the trust that the power of love, God, source energy is not only yours, it's within you. My Qigong master says he starts every invocation of a a prayer to begin the Qigong practice of, he says, I am in the universe. The universe is in me. In other words, I'm made of it. And the universe and I are one. I love Qigong. So feel loved. I feel loved. Maybe you're not really feeling love in this moment because it does take practice. This, but wouldn't it be wonderful to be there? So just imagine being there. Imagination is a huge part of Qigong. We have this imagination. It's a grand power. Let's, let's use it. Oh, I feel so loved. I feel so connected to the greatest loving source you can imagine. 
And as you go along, you will feel better. You will be able to breathe more deeply. And the wrists. Last couple of points here. Why? Can you feel your body shifting a little bit into this possibility of being connected and seen and understood and heard and liked and then loved? Absolutely possible. May not happen in 10 minutes, but it's a beginning. And you just practicing, 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 honor, honoring yourself that much that you're worth doing this often. And, and any other loving practices you can think of. Drinking more water, taking more walks, getting out into nature. Oh man, yeah, that's what I'm going to do later. <sighs> so I honor you. I honor the love that you are, that you're made of, that I'm made of. And please continue to take good care of yourself. The more we do that, the more this will become a normal, permanent presence. And confidence comes from there. The ability to enjoy, enjoy life comes, comes also. So I wish you well. Please respond to the email. Um, or this video and let me know how you're doing. I'll be thinking of you. Take good care, yeah?